Hello, this is Tinkstack1. I am back in my castle. Here's a new fireplace with a furnace inside so smoke could go out and up and out. The royal bedroom. A secret door, or a hiding door right there. You can't break in. You can't get in from here. To get into there is through here. You walk up. You open this door up. You hide in here. Like this. You could hide in here. You could get out, but you can't get in. So You can walk out, but you can't walk in there. So Ain't that a cool little hide, hide a spot? You walk down these stairs. These are nice stairs, don't you think? <laughs> yes, I am in creative mode. I have something to show you, but it's going to be a little bit farther, and you might need to fly to it. Downstairs, in this door, is called the... Here's the children's room. Children. Kids children and the guest bedroom the children get to play down there get to play in here in the guest bedroom yeah go this way okay I am now heading into my what is it bathroom that's the royal bathroom this is the royal sauna. So you can tell it's a sauna. People can walk in and out. So it's designed to let people in and out. Main stairs. You could go outside right here. Look around, you know. Go that way, go this way. I was just showing the bathroom. Oh, yeah, in here you go over this way. Down this way. So going that way, you go this way. And down. This is a hidden, hidden security door where you can lock people in. This is the dungeon. Each dungeon is really nice. You can tell it's nice. Also, whoops! In each uh, room, they have a hole for their bathroom needs. Each hole where you can actually dig out. That's the only spot you can dig. But uh, I do not want to dig there, you know. This is our. Uh, Here is just the mining thing. Or people who want to mine. Or prisoners are forced to mine. This is a forced place, so. This is the dungeon door, so. It locks people in. Even the guards are locked in, too, so. Nobody can escape. I need to figure to finish that. Now here's the guards' beds and their foot lockers by their side. Yes, yeah, so I'm showing you interesting spots of my place. I'm walking through. I wonder why I'm walking through here. So I am about to point you out something that you can barely see in. I can barely see it. But it's over here. And I'm going to fly over it to show it to you. 
And I'm actually now putting the arrows, crosshairs right onto it, or actually the bottom of it. Now you see a snow covered pyramid. Well, I will let you know what this is in a few seconds. I'm floating over to it. All this, okay, yeah, what you see is a white pyramid. It's actually a snow pyramid. Yeah, right now you see a black obsidian design thing here. This is considered a black rune or a obsidian rune. This is all black Assidian Assidian uh, temple. It's like the really nice colorful one, right? And if you try to get in, you blow up, right? Well, in here you don't have to blow up, but you pray to uh, to uh, some dark force, anyways. And this is like a dark entrance for that force. So yeah. That's the dead center of the thing, right? And here's the uh, portal to the nether world. Yeah, yeah, they like praying to the darkness. And this is for a dark, dark, dark world. So yeah, it's all black. And it's all dark. And they're after they do not like the kingdom over here and they do not like the walkway here I still need to finish the walkway but the walking part is finished but yet now I need to finish the upper half to make it look like this you see the pattern it took me a long time today to get it done. So, yeah. Hopefully, you uh, like what I did. And hopefully, you enjoy what I built. I need, still now need to build another house down there. And I need to build a little farm over here and rebuild a farm several farms actually and hopefully you enjoy what my work is bye bye